hey there so in this video let's implement search auto complete feature in react so this question is asked very frequently in front end machine coding round before getting into coding first understand how this feature works let me type something in this input box so as i take a pause this api gets triggered and results are listed here as you can see even if i type five times like even if i type five letters here this api is getting triggered only once let's take another example iphone as you can see as soon as i pause typing this api gets triggered let's add 11 to it okay so there is no result for iphone 11 from this api then again now see i started typing here after this e and i pause typing for some time after this 11 then this api gets triggered and as you can see there are zero products listed so no product is coming here so how we can implement this now let's get into coding part so i've created an empty sandbox on code sandbox to take a user input we need an input box here so input where type will be text and we need to add an event listener that will be on change and on change we need to call a function somewhere we need to maintain the value of this input box so for that we will write a state that will be const okay so this u state will give us the value and a function to set this value so initially the value for the query will be empty string and what we need to do we need to pass this set query in on change and what on change will give us it will give us an event and we need to set the value so event will have target and target will have value so this event will give the value of input box uh, next thing we need to do is we need to pass the value to the input box so this on change function will update the state here and then we need to pass this updated state to this input box so value will be what can you guess yes this will be query now let's check our input box okay it's working as expected uh, let's give this placeholder as well let's say placeholder search next is when this state updates or when this query updates we need to call an api which will give us the result based on our query so on change of query since we have to call the api based on this query change we'll use use effect hook here use effect hook and this is auto imported and let's pass it a function and it takes a dependency array so what will be the value for dependency array it will be query and what should we do when this query updates right we have to call an api which will give the results from backend or from some somewhere from database so for that what first we will write a check let's say so there should be some query length is just an optimization technique so that our api doesn't get called on empty values so let's say when query length is greater than two then only we will call this api else we won't call so let's call the api here we will use fetch here so fetch and i am using an open source api that is dummy js uh, so what it does is when you pass the search query it returns some dummy data once this is executed we will use dot then and it will give us some result right uh, let me post it here it will give us some result then what we will do we will pass the result to json and again json will give us a promise we will again do dot then and we will get the past json and now see we need this result to be stored somewhere right so that we can use it here in our html so for this one i will again write a state so i will just copy this and i will name it results and the function return from use state i will name it set results and initially let's give it empty array value 
So when this is data is returned, what we will do? Once we get this data, we will set results as data. So APIs are getting called. If query length, this one is less than two, uh, what we can do is we can set the results to empty array. Set results to an empty array. So that if I delete this thing, there should be no result here, right? Another thing we can do is we can maintain a state for loading. So if I type something here and when this API gets called, I should show a loading state here. So for that, what I will do initially, I will do here is loading. I'll give the return function name set loading. And initially, let's mark it false. Okay, so once we get into this block, let's mark it set loading to true and when this fetch part completes we can write a finally dot finally and we can again pass it a callback and we will set loading to false when it's loading we will show a loading string just like this and else we will show null so let me type here something okay as you can see we are able to see this loading state now as you can see on change we are able to call the api and we are getting the results like let me show you a double p l e apple we are getting some products and now we need to list these products here so there is another issue here so whenever we are typing and as soon as this number of letter goes greater than two this api gets called every time which is very bad like this will hamper the performance of backend as well as your ui number of calls will be very high so we will solve this part as well but before that let me first go here and write the code to list all these products which we are getting from this api so for that what we will do uh, we will write an unordered list okay and what we can do we can run a map over results so results dot map and what this will give us this will give us item so for each product we are getting id from the api so for that what we can do is results dot map and we can return here li and we need whenever we use map so to these returned values or return jsx from here should have a property called key so for that key we will pass item dot id and here we need to give the value item dot what we are getting from the response item dot title okay now let's search some product a double p l e okay so what it's saying is results dot map is not a function see the response of the api okay so it's an object and the products are coming under a key product so what we'll do here we'll set result data dot products now let's check okay as we can see now these products are getting listed here we have completed half part of the problem if we input something in the search box like iphone the results are getting listed here but there are some issues as i told you earlier like here for each keystroke, the API is getting called. So if we have to improve this. Until the user pause for some time, the API should not get called. We have to debounce this fetch function. So that this gets called only when the user pauses for some time. When user stops typing for some time. So before we go to that, uh, let me write some styles for this search box and this so it looks better. So I have written some styles already i will just copy paste it so let me style the input box as you can see now it looks better as you can see when this input box is focused the border bottom is getting blue 
next is let me add some style for another list we'll remove the default styling then we will give some padding to list items let's style this result block as well so let's give it a class name to results and let's write the style for this one okay now let me show you okay now it looks better something like google search right we are almost near to the solution but we just have to do is we have to optimize this now there is only one part remaining that is when we type something here until the user pauses this api should not get called okay so for that we will use debouncing so how we can implement it here it's very simple actually let's see how we can do that so for that what we will do is we will use a timeout here const timer equal to set timeout and it takes two pa parameters one is callback another is time let's give it 500 milliseconds and it takes a callback so what i will do is i will move this part here i will write a function here and i'll move it here and what we need to do we have to return a cleanup function from here how we can do that we just have to do is return and write a function what this will do is it will clear the timeout and it will take the timer id okay so this should work now this is all what we had to do and now what this will do is when user start typing and until user pauses for some time this api won't get called so now you can see here right this api got called only when the user stopped typing here let me show you again okay so see this api is not getting called again again on each keystroke now so this is what we had to implement uh, one more thing here so if you are having any doubt like how this debouncing started working just by adding a timeout and returning a, a cleanup function where we are clearing the timer so how this works is when you are using use effect and when you pass a dependency element to it this cleanup function gets executed in two scenarios once your component unmounts another is when this dependency array changes let me give you a quick overview again of this code so what is happening when this query changes this timer is set for 500 milliseconds and this callback executes when this timer gets completed but if before this timer is completed user updates this a query value so what happens this effect runs again and as i said you earlier whenever this dependency changes the cleanup function runs this clear timeout runs and it clears the previous set callback function for set timeout and it sets another callback here uh, and as soon as user stops typing so if user stops here for 500 milliseconds this callback executes that's how this debounce is implemented here and for more videos like this subscribe now